All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Also, notice how my voice is a lot more calm now. It's a lot more mellow. Uh, I'm pretty much uh, a lot more calmer now that I'm noticing it's not really scary. Again, that's what I say right now, but just watch. Something's going to end up scaring me. And I fucking hate that. Let's look at mom's purse again. Can be some clues. Nothing. Uh, it's not good. Oh, this. No. I might have to read it. Uh, I got two tickets for it. Uh, I don't know. I don't need to read it. Let's put that back. Let's fucking. Just fuck off. Oh. Alright, let's check in here. Nothing but towels. What, what would towels be doing? In the kitchen. Okay, okay. So it is a. Uh... Whoa. Oh, this is the greenhouse. Alright, cool. So you can see through it. It's kind of weird how they have this house set up. The greenhouse right next to the kitchen. I mean, I'm sure it's a good view in some sorts. But. Don't give up on this, honey. What did it say? The accidental warrior. Alright, cool. So, that's the dining room. This one should be the kitchen, right? Oh, no, this is just another little... I guess it's part of it. It's making that fucking noise. It's the fridge, huh? Yeah, I knew it was the fridge. Can we turn it off? I don't want, like, anything to spoil, but fucking hell. Making a lot of noise, dude. Shit. Could grab some ice cream. Wouldn't mind some ice cream. Let's read this. Read invitation. Read note. Sam's schedule working at Crown Burger at... Oh, so Burger King. Uh, that's her schedule. So Sam, who is joining the military, is also working in... Uh, whatchamacallit? In Burger King, or a Crown Burger in this case. So far, this this little game is very interesting. It's it has a creepy vibe to it and, and all, but I'm, I'm just curious as to where the fuck everybody is. There's a lot of fucking mess for there to be no one and just you know just be me in here alone. Can I? Okay. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, so there's nothing in here. Oh. See, again, it's just creepy fucking vibes. Alright, so this is gonna lead me to the greenhouse, maybe. Or it's just a garage. It's a garage, alright. Can I just, like, open up the garage door and leave? That, that would be nice. Sam, your mother and I will be away for a long weekend. Celebrating our anniversary, June 3 to 7th. We will be camping in the front in the gorge, but we'll be we'll give you a call on the way home. Sorry, the kitchen is still me mal re renovation. Never trust a, a contractor. Forty dollars is on the table to order pizza while we're gone. Be good. All right, so I saw the pizza there. So Sam is home. She should be home. What's this? Grab oh, this is the. This is the. Uh, what, what is what's the proper word for it? I asked Bonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, "Not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So they'll just send her away to who knows where." The other side of the Daniel finally Fuck came me. to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I'd taken for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. 
he gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. So maybe Daniel was the reason why she went lesbo. Could be a fucking... Maybe she just started to stop trusting guys. Uh, let's, uh, let's try to hear the other one again. Is it this one? Uh, oh, so Lonnie's the one going to the military. Sorry, I thought it was Sam. I asked Lonnie what she had to do to get ready to ship out for basic training. She said, not a lot, really. You're not allowed to bring anything with you. You have no possessions. No contact with the outside world while you're in basic. You just train hard every day, and then you deploy from there. So, they'll just send her away. To who knows where. The other side of the country. The other side of the world. My mind, like, can't process it. She's really going to be gone. Just gone. Also, I just realized I'm a fucking idiot. I kept thinking this is Catherine's uh, story, but it turns out it's Sam's journey. journey. Derp. Sam's story. A fucking cur Don't make that noise again, ever again, please. Just, I thought it was a person. God's sakes. Okay, so this is where all the writing's being done. By Terrence, apparently. I guess he needs nature so that he can write shit. Co cover copy um, so yeah I, I'm imagining it's Sam's story now I thought it was I really thought it was a uh, Catherine's where we'll do it midnight June 5 final preparations are complete under the stairs secret door okay so the foyer okay so I have to go on the right side of the foyer and there should be we something like last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that in her arms. In the morning, I woke up. I was finally alone. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Why? Like, I understand you're a lesbian. That's great. Maybe you're getting some troubles. Your girlfriend's going away to be a, a boot camp. But why do you gotta do this? Why? I just don't understand why you have to be doing that. Out of all things, you're doing this. That's Oscar. That's obviously fucking Oscar. I might as well just fucking leave. I'm fucking making sure nobody's fucking gonna sneak up on me. I have a fucking book. This is fucking dumb as hell. Why would anyone do this shit, dude? Fucking 90s were fucked up. Alright, candles aren't gonna... I'm gonna remove the fucking candles. We're gonna break that fucking circle. We don't need fucking candles on there. Where the fuck would he do that? Or she? Add a key. Great. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic. And wait. 
<sighs> so here we are. Here we are after all we've been through. Just to get up there. You guys remember the time where I got so scared of going through there. It seems like everything went well. Uh, Oscar might not be a real thing. Uh, Sam is most likely dead up there. Committed suicide. Lonnie is off in boot camp. The parents are obviously at their anniversary and I'm here stuck with a dead person so I'm gonna stop it here again just in case if something happens see y'all next time so here we are again let's do this let's fucking go oh I can't move oh my god I couldn't move for a second oh it's so it's a different feeling man it's a fucking dif different feeling I don't want to. I really honestly truly don't. There's probably fucking nothing. It says not to go up there if the lights are red. More than likely, I can assure you, that's a good fucking reason not to go up there. She's probably masturbating to porn right now. And that's some personal time. That's, that's her alone time. So I'm gonna have to go through. Oh my god, don't fucking scare me like that. I need a... Okay, so she sleeps up here. Let's turn on this fucking lamp, please. It helps. It really fucking helps. Fuck me, dude. What's this? Okay, it's just a little basket. Alright, but... Like... There's no one here. So... She's been taking these photos. Oh, that's what the red lights are for. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all makes sense now. She took photos and she's hanging them here. That's why the red lights are on. So, I'm pretty much home alone. Letters to Kate. Katie, I'm so sorry that I can't be there to see you in person, that I can't tell you all this myself, but I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did, and that you won't be sad, and you won't hate me, and you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. See you again. Someday. Love. What the fuck, dude? I thought... Oh, it all makes sense. It all makes sense. I mean, like, that's a nice, lovely story and all, but holy shit. Oh, wow, so that was gone home, ladies and gentlemen. If anything, this is the first ever walkthrough or gameplay that I did of that's not Call of Duty that was just a single player fucking game that I actually completed on YouTube so well, that, that, that's an accolade that has to be one. <laughs> oh my god dude I was scared for fucking nothing there was no such thing as Oscar this is fucking oh my god ah well you know the the things YouTubers say, fucking like, favorite, and subscribe, you share, whatever, I don't give a shit, just fucking do what you want, it's, it's a free world out here, just do whatever you want, I'll see y'all next time, also let me know in the comments below if you want to see more shit like this, that'd be, that'd be nice, that's if I'm not cheap enough to get new games, uh, we'll see what happens, <laughs> Battlefield 1 ladies and gentlemen, 2016, can't wait, <laughs> I'll see y'all next time, laters.